What's going on guys, it's Brandon and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the X sleeves from Slingshot by Mark Bell, okay? We're gonna get right into it, I'm not gonna waste too much time. We're gonna try to make this quick and informative and fun and good. So, to get started, you guys saw the way they look, but here's a little up close and personal. That These wrinkles here are just from uh, me using them over the past month and a half. Um, this is pretty much what they look like. Nothing special, just a sleeve. Um, but we're gonna get into the details really quick. So this front panel here, looks cool, huh? Well, it's a denim, and that's why it looks cool. It looks like some jeans, some dark colored jeans, some shorts that you had, you know, when you were in high school. And, and then on the back, we got typical neoprene, um, you know, any kind of sleeve. This is the material they use. Nice and stretchy, um, just so you can see, this denim doesn't stretch too much. Denim clearly doesn't, I mean, if you had a leather, a leather jacket, some leather, leather, why am I talking about leather? I'm talking about denim. Denim, 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 all right? If you had a denim jeans before or a denim jacket, denim anything, you know it doesn't stretch. Um, that's one thing that I do like a lot about these. I mean, it's the main attraction point or one of the main attraction points for these sleeves. It provides very, very stiff support. You gotta be tough to get these on, all right? They, you know, they're not easy to get on. Um, here's a clip, I'll show you um, kind of the process of it. I'll fast forward a little bit because you know, I don't want it to take too long, but um, it takes me probably like a total of you know, four to five minutes to get these on, just from, you know, untying my shoes, pull them up, putting them on, putting my shoes back on, things like that. Um, but yeah, once you get them on though, you can feel how comfortable they are, how uh, supportive they are, even when you're just walking around, not only when you're squatting or doing some sort of movement like lunges or hack squats or any leg press, anything like that. Um, you can actually feel the support. It feels like you're walking around uh, with like knee wraps on. I don't know if you've seen people, like they, they kind of like waddle, you know, when they have the knee wraps on. These kind of feel like that, you know, I can't, I couldn't imagine myself playing basketball on these. They're too stiff for that, but for powerlifting, when you want that that pop, you know, out off that, or out of the hole, anything like that, these are fantastic. I believe um, the website says something, they can add like, I don't know, 40 to 60 pounds of assistance. Other thing I want to show you guys, okay? The other attraction point of these sleeves are these silicone bands on the inside. And you might ask, what do we need those for, huh? Well, it's just for extra support um, in terms of keeping them on your knee. Um, here they are right here, just lined on the top, lined on the bottom, nothing special, um, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. It's a great idea, um, super innovative, because um, I noticed that, I'll show you guys my old sleeves right here. I stopped using them a long, long time ago, but these reband sleeves, I got them from Dick Sporting Goods, nothing but neoprene, nothing special, no silicone, just typical knee sleeves. Those always were sliding off. Every, I, would, I mean, I could just walk with them and they would slide off, and they were, they were too short and whatnot, but I'll show you guys some clips of me squatting in these. Um, they're, they're, like I said, super comfortable. They stay, uh, they're, they're of course stiff. I can feel the support once I get down um, to, my, to my depth and squats. Everything is just on point with these sleeves. I love these sleeves, I highly recommend them. We're not even done with the video yet. Next thing, price. You might be asking Brandon, I like these sleeves, but I don't wanna pay $1,000 for them. I bought these bad boys on the website, I'll leave the link below. $85, but I've had these for like a month and a half. The most workouts I've done with these in a row consecutively on the same day was three. I, I did some heavy squats, lunges, and a hack, I think a few sets of hack squats. And I figured after the lunges, you know, from lunging, I figured the, the sleeves would move out of the way, you know, get unsupportive and be uncomfortable. And it was exactly the opposite. They were great. Uh, they, they stayed in place. They, the support was clearly still there. Um, the other thing I think these are going to stay supportive for a very long time. Like I said, those reband ones, I had those, what did I buy those? I think I bought those like a year ago and I used them for like three months and after that I was like, man, why am I wearing a sock on my knee? This is pointless. This is stupid. I'm not going to wear them. So I didn't wear those anymore. But I do, like I said, highly recommend these, especially if you're a powerlifter, of course. Um, if you're, I mean, if you're just going to be like, you know, trying to run a mile or just walk around in them, it's kind of... You know, it's, it's, I'm just gonna say it's pointless. You know, you really want these for the extra support, the extra pop, you know, at the bottom when you're squatting, leg pressing, anything like that, where you gotta get up fast, you gotta move weight. Sizes, small to 4X. Um, 4X, I don't know, these are XL, and I have uh, decent sized legs, are pretty big, over average, above average legs, whatever you wanna say. Um, the only thing that, you know, is kinda clear to me, but since these are so stiff, and you ha if you have big calves, it's gonna be tough for you to get them over. 
Um, these are actually my first pair of like real life, legit powerlifting knee sleeves. So I can't compare them to like um, the previous strong knee sleeves or SBD knee sleeves or anything like that. Another thing, like I said, if you're a powerlifter and you're looking for some new knee sleeves and you're wondering, hey, look, I got a powerlifting meet in two months. Can these work? Will these work? Will these be accepted in my powerlifting federation? It depends on which one you go to or which one you're competing in. I'm competing in USPA in December and these are USPA approved, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna go to whatever federation you're competing in, find that, go to the info page, find out what can you use and what can't you use. That's all you gotta do, it's really simple. Really simple, just do it and um, find out. And once you find that out, get these. I recommend them, like I said, 10,000 times. If you are not familiar with knee sleeves, if you haven't got, gotten a pair before, or if you just guess your size, um, what you wanna do, you wanna measure around your kneecap, um, and that's your size. Your, whatever that measurement is, go on the website. And they should have a sizing chart. I know this, um, I know Mark Bell does, or Slingshot does. I don't wanna keep saying Mark Bell. It's not markbell.com. Brando, slingshot.com. Sizing chart is online. Get one of those tapes that you can wrap around and have an accurate measurement and then go from there. So to wrap things up here, you know, um, I'm very excited to be, to be using these. I'm very excited to see how long they can last. Uh, I'm sure, you know, once they give out, because at some point they will, because that's just how, you know, products work like clothes or jeans, things get too big, you, your legs get bigger, something happens in terms of um, sizing is changing. Uh, I'm just excited to see how long that takes. Cause like I said, super supportive denim, typical neoprene, silicone, all the features. I just want to see how long they can last and how effective and how, uh, how, how long that pop will stay there. Um, I will be using those, I will, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I will be using these in December, like I said, for my USPA meet. Um, I do plan on hitting a big PR. I'm not gonna spill the beans on that yet. You have to stay tuned. Another feature that I like about these, uh, they have the size and which, come on, I believe in you, focus, focus, there it is. They have the size and which leg it goes on. These other ones, they would form to your right knee and then you would mix it up and put, it up, put that right sleeve on your left on your left knee and it would just be really weird and awkward. Um, that's what I like about these. Overall, guys, I rate this product. It gets a Brandon rating of, we'll say a nine out of 10. The reason that it doesn't get a 10 because it hurts to put these on because I got hairy legs and I got big calves. So overall nine out of 10 guys, I highly recommend them. If you're powerlifting, um, definitely get them. Don't get them if you're gonna try to run a marathon or play basketball or any kind of cardio because these are not cardio sleeves. You want cardio sleeves, get like McDavid stuff or something. But anyways, like I said, link in the bio, check them out if you want to, um, if you're down for the cause, if you're down to push some weight, hit some PRs, things like that, you know the deal. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it 10 thumbs up if you want to. Comment if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to your boy's channel. It would mean a whole lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.